Uh, we expect there to be a big reaction because the issue is so important and it's been so contentious and there's been so much confusion. There are people who are legitimate skeptics who have raised legitimate questions mm -hmm. and uh, they haven't really gotten the clear answers that I felt as, sci as a scientist they, they needed. Uh, and I, I have a sense we are filling a gap. We are a group of people who respect many, of the, mm -hmm. uh, maybe most of the skeptics, not all of them, but, but mm -hmm. many of them, uh, ra realize they raise good issues, and we are addressing them with a full scientific approach. And that, that puts us in a unique position. We, we're not coming at this with an agenda. We don't have our opinion ahead of time. Mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to open up the science and, and make it clear. I believe that science is that narrow realm of reality on which everybody can agree. So if we apply the methods of science to some of the questions, we can resolve those questions. So your study says, with, uh, without doubt, the, the Earth is warming. Is that the, is that the, the bottom line takeaway? Well, it, you know, I, I think most people would have agreed to that. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a few skeptics who say no, mm -hmm. but most people agree it's been warming. Uh, what we've done is measured, I think with more precision, how much it has warmed and ruled out uh, the, the, the possibility that our measurement could have been affected by several other things, like the fact that cities are hotter, because, mm -hmm. not because of global warming, but because they burn more fuel. Heat you know, islands. Heat islands, right. that's right. That, that people had, in the past, manipulated the data. And yes, they had adjusted it, but our uh, analysis, when we don't adjust it, show it doesn't make a difference. Uh, there are mm -hmm. other issues, too, the quality of the, of the stations. For the most part, the quality of the stations is by the previous uh, criterion is very bad and, and, and we were able to look at that and say even though it's so bad it doesn't affect the trends. You have a station that's next mm -hmm. to a building but the trend seems to be the same. So um, we were able to address these issues, the data selection, the, the fact that the previous groups used less than 20% of the data. We used over 96% of the data. So we, we addressed that issue. I think by addressing these issues, which were legitimate things to be addressed, uh, we have, I hope our goal is to cool the debate a little bit mm -hmm. and focus in on a few things that are still uncertain, such as the human contribution. Although I talked to Dr. Curry, and she said she was uncomfortable with the um, overarching sense that um, that the I think your words that uh, one should not be a skeptic when it comes to uh, oh to she she um, have you talked to her yeah. recently yeah I talked to her 15 minutes ago but I never said you shouldn't be a skeptic I never said that you're looking at the op-ed op op piece of the Wall Street Journal yeah the well let's see it was in the and the paper today. <laughs> so you said that there's no. You would say that there is there is reason for skepticism on 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 the, the Wall Street Journal article. No, the Wall Street Journal article. They changed it. They changed the title. My title was "Let's Cool the Warming Debate." Okay, okay. They changed the title to an end of skepticism. <laughs> that, that was not me. They didn't seek my approval. So you disagree with that? Oh, yeah. That was, I, it doesn't represent the article. You read the article, you find it doesn't say what that title says. That was, that was their contribution. Just as you're, you don't have control of the titles of your news articles. Well, fortunately I do. I, <laughs> but, 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 but I'm that rarity. Yes, exactly. So, um, so do you feel like you're sort of being pulled by two different, uh, by the different extremes in this argument, that uh, the people that do fervently believe that uh, global warming needs to be addressed and those who are skeptical are pulling you, well, what, what you're saying one way or the other? When you use the word belief, that, that makes me think, wait, here's someone who's starting with a conclusion. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are not trying to address the true believers. There are people who dismiss global warming completely and never will. Right? We can't convince them. We're trying to address the people who still have open minds. What about the true believers on the other side? Neither side. Right. Yeah, no, the, the true believers are people who've made up their mind. And, you know, I'll, I'll list Al Gore and Bill Friedman. They're not scientists, and, and so they reach their belief and then they push it in order to try to do some good. So are you uncomfortable with, I mean, the, the, uh, you probably 
probably saw the article in the, in the New Mexican today. No, I haven't actually. Oh, yet. okay. Well, it's actually it's an Associated Press article. Oh, yeah. Right. But basically puts you in the Al Gore camp. Do you feel That's uncomfortable not, with that? It's not, it's not, I don't get comfortable. I'm comfortable. It's just a mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the Al Gore camp? That's ridiculous. I mean, my, I wrote a book in which, uh, my Physics of Future Presidents book. Look at the last third of that. Uh, what I point out is that most of what appears in an inconvenient truth is absolutely either wrong, exaggerated, or misleading. Okay. And then the, um, the BBC um, interviews as well. You think that, um, that again, I'm getting a second hand from the... Uh, yeah, it's helpful for you to straighten these things out. Right, yeah, that's why I'm talking to you. That, so, it just seems that, and I was talking to, to Dr. My Wall Street Curry. Journal op-ed, except for the title, pretty much represents... Okay. Um, and the implication really is that the magnitude of the And oh, also the... Uh, there was something in the Daily Mail today oh, yes. about a uh, graph drawn um, showing, using best own data showing that global warming has stalled over the last decade. Is that correct? Incorrect? That's incorrect. I mean, what they have done is an old trick. It's how to lie with statistics, right? And a scientist can't do that because 10 years from now, people will look back at my publications and say, was he right? But a journalist can lie with statistics. They can choose a little piece of the data and prove what they want, carefully cutting out the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I wanted to, to do this, I could demonstrate, for example, the same data set that from 1980 to 1995, it's equally flat. You can find little realms where it's equally flat. What that tells me is that 15 years is not enough to be able to tell whether it's warming or not. And so when they take 13 years and they say based on that they can reach a conclusion based on our data set, I, I think they're playing that same game. And the fact that we can find that back in 1980, the same mm-hmm. effect, when we know it wasn't warming, simply shows that that method doesn't work. Now, no scientist could do that because he, people, he'd be discredited for, for, mm-hmm. for lying with statistics. And newspapers can do that because 10 years from now, nobody will remember that they showed that plan. So, I, I, I talked to Dr. Curry about this as well. Mm-hmm. I, it seems that if, if you're someone who's a member of the public who doesn't have a dog in this fight, really you're, tough. Ju- really you're, tough. Ju- you're just trying to yeah. find out so, what, what things are going on. Uh, 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 wonderful book by Alan Cromer in which he once said, the general public has a hard time distinguishing the utterly fantastic claims of astrology from the utterly fantastic claims of astronomy. I mean, black holes, and, mm-hmm. you know, things like this. It's really tough. And so what, what the public does is they try to find people they can trust and then listen to them. And, and I, I know stuff. It's, it's, uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure I have any advice. I can always say, listen to me, but that's, <laughs> that's no good. But it also seems that, I mean, you're a scientist, Dr. Curry's a scientist, but yet somehow this seems to fall sometimes into the realm of religion well, for one side or the other. No, you know, well, if you're, I fault science for this. I think many scientists have, have gone along the following train of thought. They look at the data, they look in great detail, they analyze it, and they say, oh my God, global warming is real, it's about what we expect. If this is true, we're going to have five degrees of global warming in the next 60 years. That's going to be awful. So the scientists do that. Now they can publish this and show their data and so on, and, and the public will pay no attention to it, because it's all hidden in careful data analysis. So at this point they say, the public's not listening. I know this is urgent, therefore I have to say things that the public will understand and they they will then endorse Al Gore even though they know what he's saying is exaggerated and misleading you know, he'll talk about polar bears dying even though we know they're not dying he's, and, 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 and I feel scientists unfortunately too many of them have abandoned the scientific method precisely because the problem is so important well, I feel exactly the opposite. When the problem is really important, then we have to hunker down and really use the best methods of science.